Well, hi, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be testing some polishes for water marbling. This is how I do it. I just get out polishes and some room temperature water and my little toothpick, and I just start dropping the polishes in one by one, one drop at a time. And I know these are hard to see. And this first batch is polishes from Braves Diva Polish. I'll leave a link for her down below. And they water marble like a dream. They are just so easy to work with. And you just build your bullseye up, just like you would if you were doing it on your nails. You draw your design in. And I'm just kind of willy-nilly, because this isn't going on a nail. I'm just testing them to see how they stamp. I mean, water marble. <laughs> I use cut-up index cards as my fake nail, because um, I do a lot of testing sometimes. And I don't want to waste pop sticks. So that one turned out really good. Yay! And we're going to try a couple of more of the Brave Diva polishes. And just in different colors. Um, this is from one of my hauls. And I'm just building up another bullseye. And I know you saw me run the toothpick around the cup. That helps the polish spread out. This isn't really a how-to water marble video. It's more of a this is how I test polishes because you don't want to have your nails ready to do some water marbling and then find out that the polishes you want to use don't work. So doing this really does save some time and frustration. And you can try different designs this way. You can use the same colors but just different designs and see what you end up liking. I really do like that. It's a good way to stop me from being frustrated. But I just cut my little index cards down into little strips and dip them in and do the cleanup just like I would. Look how good that one did. Great! And, <clears throat> excuse me, some more Brave Ziva polishes. I promise I'm fixing to get into some other polishes, but um, these were sitting out on my desk and I really, really wanted to have a play with them. And this is what I do when I'm trying to figure out what manicure I want to wear. I, you know, do my little water marble testing and let it just you know now these are doing really really well they're just spreading like a dream and I'm going to draw in another design I'm just going in from both sides to the center and dipping down um, I don't really know what you would call this Sometimes if you're very careful, you can turn them into hearts doing it this way, but I don't know that I achieved that on this go. <laughs> I love water marbling. I think it's just one of the coolest forms of nail art there is, and I would probably do it for every manicure if I had more time. But like I said, you do kind of need to do your research and do your testing to see which polishes will play nice in the water or play nice with each other. A lot of times you do have good luck with, um, you know, using polishes from the same brand together, but that's not always the case. I will show you one here in a little bit that is mixed and matched. And this one's very light, but it's very pretty. I really do like that. Very nice. Now I'm going to try some square hue polishes. These have been very good for water marbling in my experience. These first two, water marble like a dream, but this last one, not so much. It's not wanting to kind of dissipate the way it should. I'm trying to tap it to see if I can get it to do, and it, it doesn't want to play nice. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. I've already got a cup started. Let's play with it and see what we can do. So I'm going to just go back to the colors that are working really nice together and put another vein of that hard to play with one in there and it's going to spread out with um, well it's going to be part of it it's not going to be like a prominent one but that's okay I really did end up like liking the way this one looked even though it was being fussy and some polishes are fussy that's okay you just there you go very nice so I'm going to go back and just use the two that worked really really well together and play with them for a minute these just boom. I mean, it just spreads like crazy. Now this one you see, it goes all the way out and then it kind of shrinks back in. That's good too. You just want to wait until your polish is finished spreading before you add the next drop 
if they're still moving, they could distort the bullseye. And then that one's acting a little slower. And you can see the rings aren't uniform, but that's the thing about butter marbling is no two nails are going to look exactly the same. I don't care how good you get at it. <laughs> you um, will have some variations. And I like that. I think that's what makes water marbling so unique and special. <clears throat> I'm trying to poke down in and pull everything in together, but it's not working. So I decided to go ahead and pull in from the outer sides into the center and just do a different design. And there we go. We're going to get our little piece of index card and dip it in and see how it how it turns out. There we go. That's gorgeous. I love it. And now I'm going to try some of these new Sally Hansen Instagrise from uh, the Crayola collection. Look how pigmented this is. And I want you to see how great these water marble. They are spreading and just doing so good. Do a little tap tap if you need to. But they are just beautiful in the water. And there we go. And now we're going to draw in a quick design. And I'm going to get crazy with this one and go all zigzaggy. And you can do these lines when you do this design. You can do them closer together or farther apart, just depending on the look you're going for. But I'm here to tell you, these Sally Hansen polishes are rocking my world right now. I wasn't excited about them at first, but they stamp, they water marble, they're opaque, one coaters. They got my winner. I mean, you know, they, 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 to me, they're just top notch. They're worth every penny. And there we go. Look at that. Love it. It looks feathered. I'm digging it. Really, really nice. Beautiful. And now I'm going to try some of the Moonshine Manny polishes that I just recently got. And these are from the Princess of the Amazon collection. And they look kind of light in the cup. I know the light's kind of messing with them. But, oh, they just, considering they're glittery and or hollow or whatever, they're water marbling great. I'm really impressed with this batch. And they look so pretty spreading out. They're all twinkly and, ugh. But this is how you get a good water marble. You just get a cup out and play. Figure out what's going to play nice. And just rock it. Go with it. And that one's still spreading. And you're going to want to wait for it to finish spreading until you, before you start you know, drawing your design in. But this just watered marble so nice. Really, really do like it. Here we go. Dip. Clean up. Clean up on aisle eight. We're going to clean it up real quick. We're going to pull this one out. Come on. There we go. Love it. It's just so pretty. Another successful round. Okay, now this is the OPI Turn On the Northern Lights. It's new to my collection. I just got it. And this one is a, like a Sally Hansen Salon Pro Gel, whatever, black polish. And it's called Blackie O. And these are two totally different brands. But you can tell they're playing nice with each other. They're doing really well with the spreading. and um, But you just never know until you try. That's That's the... That's the deal with water marbling. You can kind of turn your cup and shake it a little bit and tap it. See if you can get them to spread out a little bit more. But here we go. We're going to draw in another design. And some of my favorite water marbles have been ones where it was real organic looking. Just It wasn't like a real pattern. It was just kind of willy-nilly. Those end up really being pretty on the nail. And there we go. Look, they did really nice together. Very cool. Alrighty. 
Now here I'm going to test with some of the mood changing polishes. These are a little tricky for me to show y'all on the card because I can't dip them in hot and cold water. But you can see they're spreading very well, but I'm working very quickly with this batch because these dry really fast. So I'm trying to work very quick with them so that they don't dry too quickly. And I'm going to draw in a design real quick and see what I get. Here we go. Dip. And at the end, I will show you the cool and the warm pictures of this swatch to the best of my abilities. Like I said, I couldn't dip them down in cold and hot water. So, but look how well they did. They turned out gorgeous. Okay, here it is under warm. I put it under my like little air dryer, fingernail dryer under warm. And then I held it under the air conditioner to get the cold version. And here are some of my little sample swatches that I did. They look like a quilt. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.